Here we are with Rai Russo Young, director and writer, co writer, -writer of You Won't Miss Me. Mm -hmm. Opens on December 10th, is that correct? Uh, Yep. Here in New York? At Cinema Village. Rai, can you tell us where the title of the film comes from? Yes. Um, A friend of mine, actually, who's a singer, has a song called You Won't Miss Me. Um, It's actually not the name of the song, but that's the chorus. It's You Won't Miss Me When I'm Gone. It's like, I'm going to drink a bar of whiskey before I go to bed. And and it's uh, kind of this like sad, drunken, lonely song. Uh And I was listening to the song around the time that I was editing the movie, and it's just something about the spirit of who she was of this character and this song came together and it just I decided to call it why no apostrophe because so the whole movie stems from this character of Shelley Brown right Mm -hmm. and when I was thinking about you won't miss me I asked Stella in character to write out some words mainly you won't miss me and she wrote it without an apostrophe okay and it was like well that's it just felt like that's how it is. What am I going to do, go back and add an apostrophe? It felt like it wouldn't be right, so I wanted to be true to the character in the movie and have it without an apostrophe. Okay. Talk a little bit about the collaborative process with Stella and making this movie, because it seems like it was an incredible relationship between the two of you. For sure. Um, and did you know each other before? I, my childhood best friend, since I was about five years old, was Stella's older sister, Lola. Okay. Um, so I spent a lot of time at Lola and Stella's house as a kid, like growing up. It was one of my first friends, really, okay. in the world. Um, so I've known Stella for a long time, and I ran into her uh, after finishing Orphans, my first movie. Uh huh. And we were like, let's make something together. And so we sat down, much like this, just ha- ha- kind of hanging out. Uh huh. And was like, well, what are we going to make? And so we created this character named Shelley Brown, and I interviewed the, her in character. Uh huh. Um, for about three hours on video and then I took that footage home and I looked at that footage and I thought what is this why is this character so interesting to me what is this movie like is this a movie what is this movie about like and then that became the basis for the script and the outline and the whole shooting on multiple formats and the entire the entire movie I see a lot of movies directed by women, and I've been noticing that there's some kind of trend going on that I'm very excited about, where we're telling some coming-of-age stories of women in a new way. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if you think that maybe that's, um, is it technology that's helping with that? Is it a kind of post-feminist look at it? Is it, uh, you know, what what do you think's going on with these great coming-of-age stories of young women? Uh, Or maybe I'm the only one noticing it. No, I mean, I think... I mean, I, I look back and I see movies, everything from like Wanda to, you know, the Slums of Beverly Hills to now to stuff that's being made now. I, I don't know. What, what, what's with it? Or I, do I think there's a trend? Yeah. Do you think there's a trend? I don't know. Okay. Sorry. It's totally fine. You... There could be. I'm not, I'm not sure. It could be early in the trend. Maybe it's early. I Maybe mean, you're a trend predictor. I just, I, yeah. Maybe you can sense these things coming better than I can. When I was, you know, thinking about, like, guys do a movie and then it's, like, a new genre, like, mumblecore. Mm-hmm. And so I was just thinking, you know, like, maybe we have a new genre here. That would be um, And I was trying to think of a name, but I don't have a name yet for it. But okay. let's well, name it. So... Um, you wrote that you worked to make a film that could only be made at this particular time. Mm-hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, I think I just, I think when I said that, I was speaking mainly to two things. A lot about the technology. Uh-huh. Um, that when I just started editing, we were at this place where Final Cut could take all these formats. And I just felt so conscious of the fact that, like, that we have all these different ways of, um, absorbing media from like shooting on your iPhone to a flip camera to digital to more high end like 7D kind of stuff and HVX and like all these different modes of capturing and they all had these different feelings to them like the, the quality of the film and what you're watching and when you're watching it it's got like a, it's got an effect it's got its own kind of unique look and feel and so I wanted to, to make something that had that incorporated those unique feelings 
into the very fabric of what the entire film would be and the, and the product and the content of the movie itself. So those things were very integrated, I think, in the way